Ever wondered how important estimating risk statistics is in the world of machine learning? Well, you're about to find out. In the fascinating domain of machine learning, the concept of risk statistics plays a vital role. It's the cornerstone that allows us to build robust and reliable models. But what exactly are risk statistics? In essence, they are measures that help determine the level of uncertainty in our predictions. They enable us to gauge the potential for errors and inaccuracies in our models. Now why is this important? It's simple. A model that doesn't take into account risk statistics is like driving blindfolded. It could veer off course at any moment. On the other hand, a model that incorporates risk statistics is like a well-oiled machine. It operates with precision, making accurate predictions, improving overall performance, and minimizing errors. Now that we understand how critical risk statistics are in machine learning, it's time to delve into how to estimate them. Estimating risk statistics in machine learning is a systematic process that you can master with time and practice. It begins with understanding what we mean by risk. In machine learning, risk is the expected loss or error we anticipate when we use a certain model. To quantify this, we use a risk function, which is a mathematical representation of this expected loss. The first step in estimating risk is defining this risk function. This function is dependent on the problem at hand and the model we are using. For example, in a regression problem, we might use the mean squared error as our risk function. Alternatively, in a classification problem, we might use the cross entropy loss. Once we have defined our risk function, the next step is to calculate the empirical risk. This is essentially the average loss or error we observe when we apply our model to our training data. To do this, we take the average of the losses calculated by our risk function for each instance in our training set. This gives us a tangible measure of how well our model is performing on data it has seen before. The third step is to minimize this empirical risk. This is where the learning in machine learning happens. We tweak and adjust our model using techniques like gradient descent until we find the model that gives us the lowest possible empirical risk. This process is iterative and can take time, but it is crucial to finding the best model. Finally, we validate our results. We do this by testing our model on unseen data and comparing the observed loss to our empirical risk. If they are similar, it means our model is generalizing well and is likely to perform similarly on new data. So that's how you estimate risk statistics in machine learning. It might seem intricate, but with consistent practice, it becomes second nature. As we near the end of our discussion, let's revisit the key points we've covered. Risk statistics are the unsung heroes of machine learning. They provide us with a measure of how well our model is performing, enabling us to make informed decisions about model adjustments and improvements. These statistics shed light on the risk of our model making incorrect predictions, and their estimation is a crucial step in the machine learning process. We've discussed the process of estimating these risk statistics in depth. Remember, it all starts with a concept called empirical risk minimization, or ERM. This is a principle used to find the hypothesis in our model that minimizes the average loss on the training data. ERM is the bedrock upon which we build our risk estimation. Once we've identified our hypothesis through ERM, we can proceed to estimate the risk. But it's not as simple as plugging in numbers and calling it a day. We have to ensure that the estimation process is robust and reliable. We validate our results by testing the model on unseen data, checking how well our model generalizes to new situations. This validation process is a vital checkpoint in the risk estimation journey. It's like a quality control step, ensuring that our model is not just memorizing the training data, but learning from it and applying that knowledge to novel scenarios. So as you dive deeper into machine learning, don't overlook the importance of risk statistics. Keep in mind that the success of your model relies heavily on your ability to accurately estimate these risks. It's not an easy task, but with practice and diligence, it becomes more manageable. Remember, Estimating risk statistics is crucial for machine learning models' performance. Mastering it allows your model to make accurate predictions. Keep practicing, and you'll get the hang of it. Thanks for watching.